Hello everyone, this is Impulse and welcome back to the Hermitcraft server. How you guys doing today? I'm doing fantastic myself. I just want to start the episode off by saying thank you guys so much for all the support on the last episode. Seems you guys really enjoyed that, starting off the episode with the bang, with the time lapse there. Uh, you know, I, I just really appreciate all the likes and all the, the positive comments about that. So thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Really do appreciate that. Really makes all the effort and time that I put into these videos worth it, seeing those kind of responses. And it hyped me up, guys. It hyped me up. I went right back to work. <laughs> I went right back to work and check this out. There's one. There's two. There's three, and I think you already saw it out of the corner of your eye. There's four. All four are built up and will function when I turn them on. Now, work to be left. Work to be left to done here. Work to be left to do <laughs> is to hook up the items, the collection pieces here. So you can see down here, it's got the hoppers hooked up, but hooked up to pretty much nothing here. Uh, dro hey, give me that back. Uh, <laughs> dropper here, we need to uh, eject all the items down the ice way, the same way we did over there, get them over into the middle and up the elevator, which uh, was another cool thing. You guys, I had a couple of uh, solutions sent to me as far as getting the clock timing figured out and still kind of worried that we're going to overload the dropper speed. We're going to find out today though. We're going to hook these up. All the items are going to come in from all four of these farms at once and we're going to see if we can overload the system and if so we will fix that. But also what I want to do today is, uh, like I mentioned last episode, we need to have some support coming from the bottom to the top there. Uh, right now these kind of look like ornaments just hanging off of the island. At least that's what I look at them as and I don't want that. I don't want that. I want it to look a little more organic or, or you know, physics based reality, I guess, not floating Minecraft blocks. Anyway, all right, so I guess what I'm gonna do next is I'll hook up the item transfer lines and we're gonna see if we can overload this dropper. Yep. This project's definitely taken up a lot more concrete than I anticipated. Here I go again. I am constantly having to do this. Turn concrete powder into concrete. And this is how I do it. I have a little concrete maker down at the uh, bottom part of my base. And here we go collecting as much as hopefully we need to finish off uh, at least this part. I'm not going to be able to get enough to finish off this episode, that's for sure. Which means I'll be collecting some more gravel and probably sand a little later. Alright, so at the moment I am AFKing with all four farms on. You're seeing a lot of drops coming up through here. Uh, this is my new AFK spot. It's a little bit lower to make sure that all the farms are loaded and we're getting drops from all of them. Uh, we'll go over here. I can't even remember which <laughs> I love the side of this thing. Look at this. They are raining in. Oh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, we have a survivor. He must have some pretty hefty feather falling boots on or something. Wow, you are the first survivor I've seen. So yeah, that might change things up a little bit. We might have to do something to make sure that uh, he will die. If he ends up picking up an item, he could he could uh, end up not despawning and we could have a collection building of these guys. But anyway, we got all the drops going through these tunnels here, these iceways, and it shoots all the way down through here. Uh, when it meets up with the middle, it slides past the middle just a hair and then it comes back and goes through, which is kind of cool to look at. But we'll go through here and now in the moment of truth, guys, we're gonna see if we have a backup of drops. Now, we may not have as much happening right now since there's some other people online potentially loading the mob cap uh, so we, we might not be getting all the drops uh, that we could potentially be getting if no one else is online but I don't see any drops in the hoppers or sitting on top of the hoppers the dispenser is going off you can see I did make a change to the clock on the dropper this thing is absolutely perfect fits in great I believe Nexus was the one that sent me this on Twitter so thank you Nexus if this was from you uh, basically it's just two observers facing into each other which I had no idea the clock on the observers were you know fast enough to keep up with the or be you know just as fast as that comparator clock is like I was using before except a lot more compact here and all we do is if there's something in the dropper which you can see things are coming in constantly it's gonna put signal into that block we extend that a little bit just to make sure this this piston stays extended the sticky piston pushes this observer into that one they basically observe each other back and forth and that's gonna send a signal to the block above the dropper and it is keeping up look at this every item that comes in is getting out just as fast as it comes in which is perfect and we are not backing up at all into the hoppers it looks like let's take a look here I can see that hopper I can see that hopper and it looks like they're going through I, I probably need to open up let's see can I get into this hopper without while I'm in spectator mode there we go um, also we are getting a little bit of backup in here 
Hmm, so it's not keeping up one-to-one, -one, but we need to keep an eye on that. It looks like it's, yeah, it's starting to back up slowly. So interesting, interesting. We may have to go to another solution, but I'm going to let this run. I really want to see how it gets when people are not online. But at least now we have all four, four of the farms done, uh, connected, drops, collecting, and like I said, we'll just as soon as I see that nobody else is on the server, I'll run another test and, and really monitor the drops. I think we're going to be getting a backup, though. This thing is just way too fast. Uh, so next thing uh, I want to get done is to get some pillars going. So I guess I'm just going to get a design. I'll have to go figure out what design I want to use. I have some ideas, but I want to see how good it's going to look. So let me get that started, and we'll see what I come up with. All right, it is that time. We get to pick our secret Santa right now, and let's go ahead and see who we get. Oh, look at that. It is false, and I think think we should do this optional naughty or nice what do you guys think what do we got naughty uh oh <laughs> perfect perfect i am excited okay i gotta put this back this is the the naughty one so that the next person has a chance of getting either or but we get to give a, a naughty i guess prank like gift to false oh this is gonna be so much fun all right guys i'm excited hopefully you guys are too we will probably save that for next episode but yes we have our secret santa now job is done i'm excited about it all right so real quick guys i got a couple announcements i need to make First off, this door that we did a few episodes ago, this amazing concrete powder door, four wide, and yeah, I think you can go up to 12 wide with it. Um, mentioned that might be doing a tutorial for the, this door so you guys could learn how to build it. Unfortunately, I didn't have the time to get the tutorial done with the inventor himself, the Duke MC, uh, but he has gone ahead and made the tutorial for this door. So if you'd like to see how to build this thing, I highly recommend you guys go check out the tutorial for this and of course I will put a link in the description so head on over there guys and if you're not subscribed to the Duke make sure you do that while you're there he's always inventing really cool things and I absolutely love this door one more announcement real quick to make I'm gonna be doing a very special live stream this week with uh, a few other streamers tango is one of them and ghost from Texas you may have heard of as well as direwolf 20 we're gonna do a stream to help cancer research and uh, Mac De degeneration, if I can say it. Um, it's going to be really cool. So basically, Balanced Media Technology uh, has been putting together a, a, a program, basically, to capture data. And they're going to use that data to basically build machine learning algorithms to help um, hopefully with the cancer research and, and hopefully cure cancer eventually with it. Uh, so we're going to do some interactive live streaming using uh, some of their technology. And there's a, a client application you guys can download that's going to help with that and some games you can play to earn currency to spend on the interactive live stream itself. So I encourage you guys to check that out. There's a link in the description for that as well. Go check out more uh, information about the event itself. It's going to take place uh, this Thursday, December 21st and it's from 6 to 8 p.m. CST that's central uh, standard time I believe uh, so yeah check that out guys hopefully we will see you all there and it's, it's for a good cause. There's going to be giveaways, too. So if nothing else, you can show up for the giveaways. Uh, but anyway, look forward to you guys uh, heading over uh, to the stream when we stream and interacting with us. Because it's going to be a lot of fun. There's a lot of cool Minecraft interactive stuff that we're going to be doing. So hopefully we see you guys there. And yes, I will answer Scar's question. All right. So now that we got that out of the way, I want to show you guys what I've been working on. You can already see it. And I couldn't resist, guys. I couldn't resist. That double helix pattern looks so cool inside of this thing. I had to do it. I had to do it. <laughs> so I've got one of them done so far, and I love it. I love it. It's looking so good. We're going to have to do something with where it meets up with the bottom. They're going to have to kind of put a shell around this thing. Um, but ah, I, this is going to look so good when we're done. I want to do more bracing around the bottom. As I mentioned earlier, we need to make like a full square with this. And we need to do the other three of these guys. This actually takes quite a bit of time here to do because it's actually like two full columns 
all the way up, and they're pretty big. So, um, but that's about it. You know, this is the size I had to make it in order to still be collecting, you know, loot inside of this thing. Of course, the inside of this is hollow as you would expect. Let's see if we can get in here. Oop, did I lose stuff? Nope, got it. Um, so you can see uh, we can come in here and there you go. You can see this is where they're all dropping from. Fully contained inside of this now, so nobody's going to be getting out or anything like that. And it's good to go. And yeah, like I said, you basically just build one up and then I actually... I probably could do this a little differently, but I fully build up the other column and then carve it back out to make the design. I Yeah, like I said, there's probably a better way to do it, but that's the way I've been doing it just because it makes sense to me. But anyway, that is done. Like I said, I got to do the other three. So yeah, I'm going to get those done right now. All right, so while I build those pillars up, I did want to close on some loose ends that we've just they, they've just been out there and we I haven't addressed them yet and I feel guilty about it. Uh, a while back, I asked you guys what color we should do the concrete powder here. Uh, we had, you know, green or cyan, I think were the choices, and had mixed results, and nobody seemed to be able to agree, but there was a comment that I should just use gray, and so I put the gray in, and I looked at it, and I said, yep, I think I like that better than both the green and the cyan, so that's what I went with here. All right, something else we haven't addressed is Stress's Elytra. It's still sitting here. I never came up with a payment method for getting this, and yeah, after I had put this whole thing together, I found out that she was kind of trolling me to begin with, didn't really think that I would hook her up with an Elytra, so I asked you guys, you know, what should we ask for payment, and kind of the big response I got was, well, this is, we're doing services this season, right? We're not exactly selling stuff, so I shouldn't be asking for payment necessarily, we shouldn't be asking for diamonds or emeralds or any of that kind of thing, instead, we should should be trading maybe maybe trading services a service for a service so I know somewhere around here um, she has her own shop of sorts right and I believe it's maybe on this side oh that's a lot of uh, lag I'm getting all of a sudden and Tango was just asking about lag and I hadn't experienced it where is where is her shop does anybody know Splash of color. I know she has like a like a redstone shop, which I guess. Oh, I see redstone on the wall. It's got to be here, uh, which is a bit of a troll in itself. So obviously, stress 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 is pretty trolly. Um, but you, since she trolled me with the elytra, maybe we should troll her with a redstone order. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do it. All right, here we go. Got the order ready, and it says. You know, impulse, need, annoying contraption. That's about as much as I could fit on the piece of paper name there. But uh, yeah, what I'd like for her to do is create the most annoying redstone contraption known to man. And uh, yeah, stress, I, that's your challenge. And we'll, we'll, we'll call it a fair trade. You get this job done for me, you can have that elytra. Deal? <laughs> you guys let her know this is here waiting for her. Thanks. All right, one other thing I wanted to address is I had received this book in my base a while back, and I and I haven't done anything with it. it says, greetings, non-convex convex hermits. Today the con convex are pleased to announce the grand opening of Convex Cathedral. Please be sure to make a peace offering to the convex there. This is for your safety. While there, feel free to visit your own newly dug graves. <laughs> nice. Also, be sure to receive your blessings from our high priest, Mr. Wololo. Curses and madness be upon you always. All always. Yeah. Muhaha. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Scared. So, <laughs> I've got this book, and I guess this is the cathedral decked out in candy canes now. Um, let's go check this out. I don't exactly know what's going on here. There's a Vex offering table, I guess. Okay. And looks like, I don't know, just empty chests. Am I supposed to just offer up something for, for, for this Vex, I guess? Uh, here's Mr. Wololo, uh, who obviously can't really see me because he's not attacking me. <laughs> this is great. It must be, yeah, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Something blocking his vision. So, yeah, it said to meet him. I met him, um, peace offering. Well, I didn't really come prepared. So, there you go. 
I think that should do. Uh, he should be happy with that, right? We're saved. We're no danger for us. We're good. We, we did our offering. And um, yeah, I got a feeling this is going to end badly. All right. And finally, I want to address this here. I asked you guys, what should I do with these aquariums that I'm going to be putting in here? I was going to put in some guardians and I wanted to do some decorations in there, but these didn't really look too good. And the majority of you just said, hey, Impulse, you know, pretty soon, well, pretty soon, I guess in quotes, there's going to be an aquatic update, which is going to have a lot of new cool things where, you know, magma blocks will have bubbles coming out of them and there's coral and all sorts of cool new stuff. We could actually catch and release fish in there to make it really nice and active. Um, so maybe just wait, right? Maybe just wait until that comes along. And until then, you know, don't don't really do anything that you're going to regret and end up having to rip out. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm actually going to just take out the leaves and we're going to get a, uh, a guardian or two in there and just have them named and, and be swimming around for a while. And then when the aquatic update comes, we'll we'll deck it out. We'll make it look cool. Um, so yeah, maybe a while before that happens. I don't. I think the aquatic update's probably a few months out at least. So uh, we'll, we'll be patient, we'll be patient, we'll wait for it, and I think it'll be worth the wait. Okay, and there we go. Many hours, many, many hours of building. That took way, way longer than I thought it was gonna take, but we have all four pillars in now doing the double helix dealy on all of them and i even put some of the extra bracing in that i had mentioned that i wanted to do and it is looking absolutely great let's get up in the air and take a look from the sky just to see if we can get a full you know better view of of, of this and you can kind of see how i connected everything together now with that square and then kind of the cross pattern in the middle there um, you know what? We might be able to get a better view if I jump onto the camera account because then we can hold still and really take this thing in because it is looking absolutely gorgeous. Okay, here we go. On the camera account now, you can see I'm standing down there. I should be safe. We got enough lighting around here that I should be safe. Look at me just looking, looking, admiring my work. <laughs> oh, this thing has turned out great. Like I said, I am very happy with it. One thing that we need to start thinking about now, and I'm probably going to need your guys' help. Throw me some ideas, if you will. Uh, right here where it kind of connects to the bottom of the mob farm itself, we are going to need to cover this up with some some design, some detailed design. So if you guys got any ideas on things we can do for that, toss them my way um, because, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm trying to think of different things with maybe water curtains or I don't know. I don't know. Some sort of glass design to where you can still see the inside. But right now, just this stone slab look, it's not really cutting it. We need to make this look good on all four sides as well and yeah there's something else I wanted to get started today I have I have a kind of a crazy idea uh, <laughs> it's pretty crazy I'm thinking about clearing some more water and I know I'm probably going to regret this as much as as much work as it was to just clear out this area around the monument itself this whole kind of area right here so that we could make our guardian farm um, yeah, I'm thinking about actually kind of clearing out water kind of out to these edges and then kind of having like stair steps down of like glass. Ooh, that's weird. <laughs> the water texture. I don't know if it's my texture pack or what, but it's very ugly, murky underwater. I don't know what the deal is there. Anyway, um, but yeah, I want to have like some glass kind of stairways to, to kind of step down to the monument structure down there and then like water flowing down, I think, and then it will kind of like angle out to the corners. I'm thinking about, yeah, what I'm gonna do right now, I think, is put in some glass under the water so we can kind of see what that angle would look like out to the corners and kind of see how far we would go, basically from the base of the monument and then kind of angle it out and we'll see where we end up because I'd like to kind of hollow that out. That way we can look down at the monument and we won't have any water covering it and then we can do some other things with, uh, you know, the, the bracings here and the pillars. So, yeah, let me let let me see where this is going to go before I make any major decisions here. Be right back. All right. So I'm building up kind of the corner angle right now, and it is looking like it's going to be just about 
perfect where we end up. Look at this. We end up just right here at the corner. So we'll take this out, kind of clean this up so you guys can get a better look here. But right just about at the corner. So if we do maybe something like this, we can extend this out on both sides, maybe like that. And then we'll extend this around. So basically, here we'll go down below here. I've got kind of this angle going all the way down to what would be the very bottom of the base here. And we'll just kind of go out on each side. And you can see that like all the water kind of down this angle would have to be taken out for this to work. And then we'll basically just kind of extend, you know, this over, you know, this way. And then on this side, we will extend it over, I guess, this way would be about right. Yeah. So you get something like that going on all the way through. And then we'll have to uh, just extend this base just a little bit out to meet up with this edge of just kind of flat glass right there. But that's going to look pretty sweet. I have a really bad feeling I'm going to regret tackling this. But I just think this is going to look so awesome with this whole thing kind of cleared out. And then we'll have to take out kind of this glass cage here, which will be good. I think this is all blue glass if I remember putting it in. Uh, we'll eventually take this out once we get all the water cleared out. And we'll kind of have like a direct view all the way down to an exposed ocean monument. And I think that's going to look a lot better than what it is now with just a glass cage and covered with water. So pretty cool. It's going to take me a while. I think that looks like a lot of work, but definitely excited about how cool that's going to look in the end. Let's do what, another fly over here. And let's see, let's see if, you know, we can get an idea from up here. Probably not with the blue glass. You can barely see it, I guess. But yeah, that's going to be massive. <laughs> it's going to be so cool. Oh, and yep, those of you that have a keen eye probably saw this earlier in the video. We have been gifted already for the Secret Santa. It is already hanging out here. I have yet to open it. I am going to not do that today. <laughs> We're going to save that. Because the next episode, I have my own secret Santa to take care of. And I think I will open this up in the same episode. I got a great idea of what I'm going to do for my secret Santa. If you don't remember who it is, let's see. I think we put it in here. Um, yeah, obviously you guys saw that earlier in the episode. So if you forgot already, then you got a worse memory than I do. But it's false symmetry, of course. So we will get a... Uh, it's not a gift. Remember, the naughty is what came out. So she's getting pranked. <laughs> so like I said, I got a really cool idea. I can't wait to get started on that. But that will be next video. A lot of work went into this one, guys. So hopefully you appreciated that. And uh, I'm going to do a flyover as we end the video just because can't, I can't get enough of, of the, uh, the view out here. It's looking so good. Things are finally starting to come together. Again, any ideas you have for what we could do with these, please put in the comments or tweet me pictures or anything like that if you got uh, ideas. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe before you go. And with that said, I'll see you guys again next time. Have a good one, everyone.